welcome back to a new video. In today's video, um, I'm, look, ignore that for a minute. I'm going to be showing you Madame Glam's brand new collection. Ah, look at them! This collection is called The House of Colour. It's available now. Um, well, it's released on the 13th, but yeah, no, it's, re it's available now. I was just thinking of the time difference between us and the US, but these colours are amazing. I'm going to be showing you them a little bit closer during the video, so just hold your horses. But we're going to be doing a design with them. I'm also going to use Perfect White. So I'm going to add one coat of Perfect White to all of our nails. I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds and then I'm going to apply a second coat to all of the nails and then I'm going to cure that also. <laughs> um, I'm then I'm going to add some sparkly stuff. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to remove the tacky layer from Every time I, I, I do this, if I'm adding glitter, I'll remove the tacky layer because sometimes you end up with some of the colour pigment in the in the tacky layer and I'll show you what I do. Right, so I'm going to take some base coat, pop the base coat on my post-it palette from Rachel Wilders. It's not called a post-it palette, but that's what I call it. I don't know what it's actually called. Then using Madame Glam's application brush, I'm going to scoop some of the... Oh yeah, this is... Look... This is the Silver Mylar from Nail Sugar that I'm going to be using. I don't know that I've ever used this before, but it's absolutely stunning. You can save 10% using my code NATMUG10. See, I take my base coat and I run it over the whole nail, and then I'll put this on. But sometimes if there's pigment left on the nail, that base coat will pick up the pigment, and then you might end up with, like, white pigment covering up the glitter or whatever colour gel polish you've used, if you see what I mean. Um, so that's what I like to do, and I'm just going to faff around until i've got a nice cover of that silver mylar um talking of discount codes as well by the way you can save 50 percent off madame glam today and tomorrow using code natmug50 it's only on like non-discounted stuff and you have to have a minimum of three items so yeah natmug50 save 50 percent today and tomorrow so what i've done is i've cured the base coat which i've put the glitter in then because it's going to be a little bit rough i'm going to go over with another layer of base coat and then what i like to do is just remove the tacky layer and i'm going to buff over the surface just to smooth it out um also mad and glam have released a dust brush and some uv protective gloves but i forgot to include those in the video the dust brush is amazing it feels so soft and the uv gloves are like those gloves that just have your they have like they're like fingerless gloves where you just have your fingernails poking out the end so it protects the rest of your hand from the uv light but i like to put my hand in because it gives me a tan not i don't think i ever tan <laughs> if i do tan i'll just go like white the next day but normally I go red and then I go white again. So there we go. So this is me just smoothing the, um, but check out the brush anyway. Not that, well, you can check out the gloves as well, but the brush, I love the brush. I forgot I've got it actually. Right, so then what I'm going to do is, all oh, right, these are the colours. Okay, so the first one is your Sublime. Look at that green. I think this is probably a favourite. Um, then, oh, I missed what this colour was called. I, I missed it. But look how gorgeous this colour. These colours are so bold and vibrant. I absolutely love them. The next one is glorious. They're proper nice, like, bold summer colours. I'd call this one a purpley blue. Maybe. The next one is one of my eternal bliss. It's a new fave. It's like a proper nice summery purple. And it's actually a kind of purple that I don't have in my collection, believe it or not. So, yeah, this is definitely going to become a new favourite. Then we've got Pink Madness, which is a super bold pink. I'm just going to call them all bold because they are. Look how vibrant that is. Oh, I love it. Yay. The next one is called Love Out Loud. And this is um, a red, but it's like, it's almost got a hint of orange in it. But it's definitely a red, but I'd say verging on orangey red. And then this one is called Live Colourfully. Oh, I'm really glad I've got this one as well because this is a kind of orange as well that I don't have in my collection. So I'm really happy about this one as well. Not that I use orange a lot, but it's good to have. And then the last but not least is called The Star 
And again, it's a gorgeous yellow. I'm loving the yellows that they're bringing out lately. Look at that. Oh, it's so nice. I love it. Ah, I'm so happy with these colours. And then, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a blob of each of the colours on my palette. I love this bit. I was like, shall I put little... And I was like, no, just go from one to the other. And I thought it looked quite cool. <laughs> and this is the one that... Look at them on the palette, though. Oh, I love them. I'm so happy. It's such a happy, colourful day. Uh, right, so what I'm going to do is... I am going to take... Um, a detailer brush. And then I'm just going to create circles on the nails. Now, I've got eight colours and four nails so I thought well I want to have at least two dots on each nail and I ended up putting way more on um I didn't realize oh yeah and if you have trouble doing circles create a cross make a cross and then do the circle from like around I'd like to do a circle around the cross and it might help I saw someone do that once I can't remember who um it might have been Henriette, Henriette Nails, Henriette Nails, I can't remember, but I just made that other one a bit bigger, so look, I'm, I'm going to cure them every time, and I thought, well, if I just do two of each colour initially, and then if I want more, I can go back and add different colours on, so just, yeah, so now I've gone in with that bold kind of turquoise green, is it turquoise, I'm not sure, it's a green, it's a green though, it's like a nice green, and it's like some of the circles will be coming, <gasps> Oh, yawn. Sorry. Some of the circles will be coming off the nail as well. Yeah, I was didn't realise quite how close I was to the nails there. Look, look, this is the kind of do across, and then you can just kind of fill in around it. See what I mean? That kind of helps. I quite like that idea. I'm still a bit of a faffer though. I still like to, I don't know, bath. <laughs> so again, I'll pop that in the lamp for a quick cure. And then I'm going to move on to the yellow. But then I will obviously, I think I'm just going to show you me doing this one. And then I just skip forward to them done. Because you're not going to want to see me make lots of circles out of lots of different colours. So yeah, once I'm happy, they'll look like this. Sorry, once I'm done, they'll look like this. <gasps> So pop those into the lamp for a 30 second cure. And then, yes, can you Adam and Eve it? I am using shiny top coat. These are going to be shiny. You can use matte if you want to. However, I've used holographic silver mylar. So I'm like, they've got to be shiny. And then using Madame Glam's black gel paint, we're just going to outline this probably. I mean, it's a, it's a lot. It's, it's a it was a very fiddly set of nails to do and it was quite time consuming doing all the little circles and then having to line the circles sorry outline the circles but the outline doesn't have to be thin um you can make the line as like i mean obviously you don't want it too thick but that's quite that's how thick average ish my lines were around my circles and then you just do two little lines for the eyes and then a little just do a smile i did end up adding little lines to the the edges of the smile which you'll see at the end but i can't really explain what to call them but you're just going to repeat that on all of the circles it's going to take you ages but it looks really cool see there we go do you see what i mean by the little lines on the smile pop those in the lamp for 60 seconds and then this is them done I hope you like them. I love them. They're so fun. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It's completely free. But once you're subscribed, you're in the club for life. Just saying. Don't forget to use code NATMUG50 to save 50% off Madam Glam for the next two days. God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Yay. Love you. Bye.